Hello everybody, my name is Charlie Rich and I am the speech therapist uh, for the adult population for the hospital here in Alamosa, SLV Health. Uh, I have several primary uh, areas that I work with. They are basically uh, areas of language disorder, uh, speech disorder, uh, some voice disorders, and the big one of course uh, now is swallowing behavior in people because uh, eating and digesting is uh, one of the greatest uh, things that we do to help us through our daily lives and, uh, and, and it's a very pleasurable activity as well. One of the greatest tools that I think we have available to us is called the Modified Barium Swallow Study. Some people call it a video fluoroscopy of the swallow and some people call it the esophagram with speech uh, therapy. So I usually use the term Modified Barium Swallow Study. And what that means is that I take uh, various food items and liquids and I mix barium sulfate into the food or drink and then we uh, allow the person to swallow small pieces or maybe, uh, maybe even larger bites of certain foods to see how it actually goes from the lips all the way down into the stomach. The swallow is uh, uh, considered to be the oral stage which is how you accept food into your mouth, prepare it for swallow. The uh, pharyngeal stage is how the food actually moves down through the pharynx here. And then the esophageal stage, of course, starts about right here uh, where the pharynx and the esophagus join. And then that goes all the way into the stomach. And speech therapists actually study that whole, um, that whole train there of, of how the food goes from the lips into the stomach. And then we make recommendations either to other specialists to do other procedures, or we actually design therapy to help strengthen anything from the lips, say down to the esophagus. The esophagus, we can't do a lot of therapy work with, but we can certainly refer to specialists for that. So let's watch a kind of a normal swallow study. This is a bolus of food. And so let's slow this way down and do that again. So you'll see it goes slowly. Watch the bolus I presented here. It goes slow through the mouth and then it'll go through the pharynx. And I'll try to kind of talk about this as it goes through. So what you see is the bolus being swallowed. The swallow trigger is up in this area at the base of the tongue and then it goes quickly through the pharynx into the esophagus without any significant residue anywhere along this tract and that is considered a normal swallow. Uh, that swallow usually happens when it hits the back of the tongue or the tonsil area that triggers the swallow. Usually there's a one second time where you go from the pharynx into the esophagus and that would be considered normal swallowing uh, as you're observing this. So now I'll show you that same swallow in real time and so it, it should impress on you what it might feel like or how you might sense a disordered swallow on some pureed food. Watch the bolus coming down. It quickly goes through but it kind of slows down into the esophagus and then there's all this residue all the way from the tongue all the way into the upper esophagus or what's called the piriform sinus. These are markers of a disordered swallow.